So, what did I accomplish off this list this weekend? Time lapse, trip, and setup. Eh, 50%, maybe. I can get you halfway there, but I didn't get all of it. Setting up my Mount 101. I did record all that video for you, so that should be showing up real soon. Sharp cap using a pole master. Yep, I'm pretty sure I got that one for you too. Oh, heck, I've got some thoughts and opinions on that one, and um, those thoughts and opinions are my own, and mileage may vary on um, what you guys decide, but I will present what I found, and you guys will come to a conclusion. All right, let's see. Uh, manual rotate plate saw. Yep, I've got that video for you. And autofocus, creating that perfect V. Got it too. So, really, it wasn't that unproductive of a weekend. I accomplished most of this list. Not too bad. See y'all soon. It's all in there. Now I need to add two scopes, one cooler, and one tired soul. I'll see y'all real soon. guys, it's Amy Astro here. It's so great to see you. Um, I want to thank everyone for their understanding for the lack of video this last week. 
and that freed up some time to allow me to get ready to go to my local Astro Park. Uh, we were supposed to have two clear nights. Um, it was definitely going to be hotter than Hades out there. And uh, I had a great time. Um, and it's funny, it's just like with golf. A bad day in astronomy is still better than a good day at work sometimes. You know, I think we all need to get away a little bit. I, I know I definitely did. I had kind of taken on a lot and I was a little bit overwhelmed. So a little break from all of it was just what I needed. So thank you for understanding that. But I thought I would do just a really quick video and just tell you what I did that weekend. Um, well, this past weekend. In fact, I've been home a couple hours now, long enough to empty out my car, uh, clean up this, the tent and the awning and everything that I had brought and put those away. And I still have a big mess behind me with all my bins and cables that didn't quite get back to where they should have been. Uh, but let's see. Friday afternoon, I drove out to my Astro Park. And when I arrived, I set everything up to give you guys this really cool, really fast um, setup video of just basically me setting up my campsite, the canopy, and everything. But as you know, all good intentions tend to go. Um, one guy out there taught me that it was a moment of Turnska. And no, turnsta. And turnsta is what happens when things turnsta, you fill in the blank. So that video didn't really happen, but I had a really good reason why. Um, there's people that live there at the astronomy park on one section. They have all these really cool houses with observatories and all that. And um, they came by up on the field and we had some social time. So as I started to set up, it more turned out to me standing there talking with my friends and just having a great time. And well, that was kind of boring to watch. And by that time, the video had run out of battery and SD card was full. And yeah, I'm not going to show you guys me standing around just talking to some folks. So that was it. That idea is a little bit canned, but that's okay. We do have two other SD cards full of video clips that I put together and I'm going to try to uh, manipulate them in a way that's a little interesting and not so boring for you. But Friday night was supposed to be a great night and it was no clouds all day long. I mean, no clouds. It was so hot and so bright that I couldn't keep enough sunscreen on like I had intended and still got a little pink, which I don't really like doing that to myself. It's, that's not a good thing to do. So Friday night ended up being a turnsta night. The whole sky turnsta, you fill in the blank. And I had things just about polar aligned and it turnsta on me. God, I'm beginning to like that term because I'm starting to see it happen an awful lot in astronomy. So the polar alignment video for that night got that close and then it went beep, right out the door okay so but things did clear up and I was able to start taking my first image at 2 a.m. 2 a.m. I get my first image and I take images for about two hours and pretty much just called it a night but I was doing some experimenting I have taken some images from my backyard of the North American Nebula and I did that as a four panel mosaic. And that one was taken with a one shot color with the Altair Astro tri-band filter. So I'm looking forward to editing that set of data. Then while I was out of my dark space, I took the North American Nebula again with the same telescope, this time without any filters, just to compare and, and see what things look like. And then to add more to it, we took more images of the uh, North American Nebula with the Raven scope, just doing this standard hydrogen alpha, and I got halfway through the oxygen when clouds bit me again, and I still have to take the sulfur, but I can do that at home, and 
I'm just going to see how far I can manipulate all this stuff together, which I thought would be kind of fun to do. But this weekend also had some firsts. Um, this was my first time going anywhere and people knew my name before I had any clue who they were. Talk about, it, it was, it was a bit overwhelming when people walk up and said, Hey, you're Amy Astro. And I was like, do I know you? Um, so it, it was really kind of cool. All of a sudden I felt like I hit this weird celebrity status that I never really expected. But what was even cooler is when they came up and looked at the rigs, they knew the rigs' names. And they could tell me all about them, which was kind of cool. And they said, oh, I wanted to see this with a different angle. So that's really neat. Um, people do have an interest in what I'm saying. So I am not an expert. I am not a professional. But hey, I play one on YouTube. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> but first this weekend... I went up the hill and I looked through somebody else's daub. One of these big daubs, the ones that you can't put your arms around, the truss ones, and you, they're really tall and you need a uh, step stool to see out of the eyepiece. For my first time ever, I saw Saturn. Now what was really cool about Saturn is it wasn't face on where you see the circle and the line going through it for the rings. It was turned at an angle. So the rings were elliptical, and I could see the gaps between it, the rings, and where Saturn was. So that was really exciting, because I had never seen that before through a telescope. So that was a first. It was, it was just really cool. The second first was the on Saturday night, is I watched a moon transit of Jupiter. So one of Jupiter's moons were passing in front of it, and I watched the moon get really, really close, and then the moon suddenly disappeared. But in the meantime, I see this little black dot going across Jupiter, which was Jupiter's shadow. And what was kind of neat was the moon hadn't really touched Jupiter. You could see the separation, but there was still the shadow of that moon going across Jupiter. So that was a first. Um, I, I really enjoy getting to do those things. And you only get to see stuff like this when you go to a star park or a star party wherever there's other people out there with other equipment. And um, I learned a lot this weekend from other people. They may not realize how much they are teaching me. And I'm turning around and I'm sharing this with you all to help teach you. I learned more this weekend about PhD2 and their guide log and how to read it and I'll have to show that to you guys because I'd heard about it but I had never used it so that is really a valuable tool and I'm, I'm going to show that to you guys in the very near future but I had a great weekend it was hot went through a lot of water a lot of Gatorade very little sleep um, but I can't wait to get out there next time so thank you guys again for your understanding of the lack of educational tutorial based video and now you're just going to listen to me ramble for a couple minutes and tell you how great things were and how much I appreciate the added time. Oh one more thing that I did this weekend that was a first. Um, I had a new slider which is a, a set of rails and I had them up on a couple light stands and my camera, my DSLR, traveled across the rails at a pre-programmed speed and rate and all that and it had a trigger port that went from my camera to the unit so it was able to trigger my camera for me and I set up a time lapse I'm really excited to see how that turned out my only issue is I was using a, a fancy light pollution filter on the front of my camera and I realized when I went to take everything down after two hours the front of that um, filter was fogged over on the edges so I don't know how much of that bled into my images. Um, the lens itself was completely clear because I had hand warmers taped to it but the front filter was fogged up. But I got to learn how to use a new toy. It was a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to start doing some uh, Milky Way landscapes um, time lapses. So it's another tool in the toolbox and it's something fun to play with. Um, you know have to be homed in on just one topic. With photography it's so broad 
you can try it all and just have a lot of fun with it. This week we have some special thank yous to go out there. One is to Jean-Marc, I'm hoping I pronounced your name correctly, over there in France. Uh, thank you so much for the donation on my website. I really appreciate it. That it is, it's, it's humbling that people are willing to help me fund this little dream of mine. So that's real exciting. And something else, I have a package from a fan. And this is from Steve in New Jersey, and let's see what he sent me. I have no idea, but he said it was something that I would really like. So let's check this out. Dear Amy, thank you for all your help. I appreciate it, Steve. Oh, no way, guys. This is too cool. Look at this. It's my name. It's my very own t-shirt with my logo on it. How perfect is that, guys? Oh my goodness. Steve, thank you so much. I mean, I, I've, I'm going to have to wear this all the time. I have my own swag, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much, Steve. I do appreciate it. So, Thank you guys. I appreciate all of your support and everything that you guys actually do for me. Um, I am a bit overwhelmed, but thank you. So that's what I got for you guys for right now. I will work hard on getting some of this other data out to you guys as videos. And again, thank you for your understanding and allowing me to go out to a star park for two nights and go camping. I had a great time. It was worth it. And I will share with you guys everything that I learned while I was out on the field. Until next time, guys, I love you, and I will see y'all real soon. Bye.